Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about downloading and installing a printer driver software without the need for a CD or DVD. So this should be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search icon down in the taskbar and search for a control panel. Best match to go back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select your view by to category view. And then you want to select hardware and sound on the left side. Select where it says devices and printers over here on the right. And then you want to select where it says add a printer. Just go ahead and left click on that. So if you have your printer turned on, I'd recommend making sure it's turned on and seeing if it will be detected in here. So again, make sure Wi-Fi is already connected on the printer. If you have to enter in your Wi-Fi credentials on your printer, enter them in before doing the scan, or if you're using an actual physical cable connection with your printer, make sure it's plugged in here because it's actually going to be scanning for your printer device. So definitely something you guys want to take a look at. And you can see it said no devices found, which is fine. So if you're unable to detect it this way, you can also go on to the manufacturer's website. So it doesn't really matter what manufacturer it is. So let's just say could be Epson, Canon, Brother, Xerox, that sort of thing. I'm going to search for Canon printer drivers. I'm just going to go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be from a Canon domain. You can select their regional or national affiliation depending on where you're located in the world. You can go ahead and actually start typing the model of the printer here. Or you can go ahead and just search by product type. And you can select your device from this list here. Again, this will be different depending on what printer you have, obviously. And let's just say, for example, this is our printer. You can select the Drivers and Downloads button. You select the full driver and software package. I'm going to go ahead and select that. It's a pretty big download. We're bigger compared to the other option here. And I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to select the Download button. And once it's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Again, depending on what web browser or what printer you're using, it might look a little bit different for the setup, but generally it should be pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to go ahead and select the Start Setup button here. And again, follow along with any prompts it recommends. I will have to agree to an end user license agreement. Go ahead and select yes, and you agree. Again, make sure the printer is turned on or follow along with whatever it recommends on your screen. And you'll select what type of connection method you're using, and then you'll select next. Make sure the printer is powered on. And just go ahead through the process here. And if you're unable to connect, we can also just set it up later as well. And just go ahead and finish up. So again, you just would walk through the process of what it would recommend here, and that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.